Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. I'm Lynn Hubert. And I'm Richard and Hubert. This is Richard, and I want to welcome you out today. So today we are going to launch our brand new Daily 8. Some of you are familiar with this already, but I've gone through and I've updated this for 2023. And so there's going to be options on here now to build your business both online and in face-to-face -face in person. So however you like to build your business, and you literally could do face-to-face -face only, or you could do online only, or you can do a mix of both, right? There is no reason that you can't do both. Um, and that's the, the reps who do both make the most sales because you have your local customers and you have your online business that works for you even when you're sleepy. So I'm gonna do a couple of things. Let me move this over to my other window so I can share my screen. And come on. <laughs> there we go. Now we're sharing my screen. So you can <clears throat> see, you can see my blog. This is onlinebeautybiz.com. And I'm just going to really quickly kind of direct you through here in case you're not familiar with it. If you're brand new, you'll want to click on getting started right up here at the top. And this is onlinebeautybiz.com. So this is getting started, and that will walk you through the basics, like how do I get paid? How much do I make? How, how do I get started, right? Um, on the, If you're on a computer, it's going to look like this. You're going to have a main screen over here, and then on the right-hand side, it's called, it's called a sidebar. And so the main screen is like where the posts are. The sidebar on the side here, you can sign up to receive our newsletter. So if you're not receiving emails from me, you can sign up to get emails. And then there's a search. So if you want to find something, you literally can search for it. Or there's categories. So you can pick like you want to learn more about incentives or how to be a brand <clears throat> ambassador or fundraising, right? And you can click on those and all the posts that are tagged with those will come up. Now, if you're on your computer, it looks just like that. So you have your main post. The, the main page, and then you have your sidebar. If you're on your phone, that sidebar is going to move underneath. So it's one long thing. So there's about six or seven posts, and then the side, sidebar will be under that. Okay? Just want to say real quick, something that comes up all the time, but uh, these days we, we Google things. If we don't know something, we Google it. Well, this is the best way to Google an Avon question. <laughs> this is by far, if you have a question and it's 11 o'clock at night and you can't get an answer, go to Online Beauty Biz, go to the search bar and type in what you're looking for or search through the categories. You will find the answer here. This is over the last 20, 21 years. Lynn has created this blog that answers pretty much everything relevant about Avon, questions you'll have. Of course, Avon changes constantly. Yes. So I'm trying to keep it updated, but... Um... You know, you'll find a lot of what you're looking for. Yes. Maybe not everything. Okay, so let's, so this, to get to this daily aid, I'm going to tell you that there's two ways to get there. You can like scroll down here and you can click on your daily aid system on the sidebar. And then to be honest with you, it's going to be the very first post. So it'll be the oldest post. So if you go to the very last page, which is 15 right now, but that'll probably change. And scroll down to the bottom. And it's this one right here, your daily aid system to make your A1 business break. Or you could go here and you could search for daily eight, just like that, daily eight. And it's again gonna, well, that one came right up, but, but, and so this is the one that has this logo, okay? So we're on this, this is the post, and it's all updated for 2023. Um, this video will be replaced with the one I'm creating with you guys right now. And then the rest of this is already all updated. But, um, but let's kind of go through it, okay? So the idea behind this is that, um, you know, most people work in a job. They work eight hours a day, 40 hours a week to earn a full-time income. And they continue to do this for like approximately 40 years and then retire on 40% of what wasn't enough to live in in the first place, right? And then they retire broke and they're dependent on their, their social security or friends or family, or some people never end up retiring because they don't have those things and they have to keep working. And so your a one business can be the answer to escaping that job. You know, your, your home business, you can build a better than average income regardless of your educational background or experience level. You, you can be more prepared for retirement. Even if you love your job and you want to keep your job, this A1 business could create a residual income for you that can take you into retirement so you don't have to work. Um, 
It's a proven formula. Now, bottom line is you have to do the work, right? But this is your daily method of operation that we're working with right now. This is what we're going to teach you. So it's a proven formula. When followed consistently, that daily eight plan is going to help you maintain that consistency required to build a thriving team and an exponentially expanding residual income. Instead of working eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, your goal is to capture eight points a day, five days a week for a total of 40 points. And I promise you that's going to take a whole lot less time than 40 hours a week. I promise. In fact, if you work at SMART and you are focused, you could do this in two hours a day. You could even do it in an hour a day, but you have to be laser focused to do that, right? Um, but it's absolutely possible. It's just knowing what you need to do. And that's what this is going to help you with. So if you click here, print the sheet and use it to track your daily report your daily week or weekly points. Um, I actually already downloaded it, so we'll pull it up right here. And this is this is just a cover sheet. This is like 11 pages. You don't need to print all of them. I mean, you might want to print it once because the second page is where you're going to track, and then all the rest of the pages go into more detail about how to do those things. So you can only print one of those maybe and print you know a bunch of these on um, the second page, right? So it's just really simple. You're just going to put the week of, so you'll put – you know, Monday's date or Sunday's date, depending on when you start your week. Then you figure out what five days am I going to work my business this week? You know, you might work Monday through Friday. You might work, maybe you have something going on on Wednesdays, and so you can't do Wednesday. So maybe you work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Or, you know, I mean, whatever days you want to work, it doesn't matter, just so long as you know what five days you're going to work. And then you just give yourself a point for every um, everything you do here. So the first one, and to be honest with you, the top part, the top third of this is probably the most important because those are income producing activities. You really need to be working on those. And I'll explain that in more detail in, in a few minutes. So the first one, prospecting for customers. That means giving out brochures, either paper or digital, you know, collect contact information or start conversations on social media and, 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 and get there okay to send them a digital uh, book. Right. If you, you get a point for every name you collect, but you don't get that point unless you've got their name, their contact information, or they've agreed to let you um, text them a brochure. OK, because that means they said yes. That's what the point is for. So there's lots of ways to do that. I mean, if you're if you're good at talking to people, you literally can just go through a grocery store with some brochures in your basket. And as you run into people in the store, you can talk to them. You can kind of chat them up. You know, like if someone sees you, sees the books in your cart, and they go, oh, do you sell Avon? Or maybe you have a name badge on, you know, and they, do you sell Avon? Then you can talk to them and you can get a book and give them their contact and get their contact information from them. We have a drawing slip. You can search for drawing slip in online beauty biz. Or you literally could just put a post-it note on the front of the brochure and say, if you give me your name and number, I'll send you a quick text before my order goes out. It's, it's like not you're not being pushy you're you're not being you know people don't typically don't mind a text they just don't want you to call them nobody uses their phone for phone calls anymore right <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way to do it i am really i'm more introverted believe it or not um i can be on when i need to be but i have to actually turn myself on so you know like for instance if i'm going through a grocery store and i'm going to check out i probably won't even talk it though to the cashier i might smile at her but that's about it and i'll have her my credit card whereas richard he's just mr chatty kathy he's talking to her about whatever you know that's the difference right between an introvert and an extrovert but if i know that i'm going to go in and go prospecting i turn myself on and then i'm better at talking to the cashier because i go in there with a goal right but you could say something um you know, like, for instance, to the cashier, you could say, hey, you know, I said, Avon, have you seen our newest digital brochure? It's really cool. It literally, it's on your phone and you can turn the pages just like in a book. And if they go, oh, wow, really? Like, yeah, would it be okay if I texted to you? And then put them in a, as a contact on your phone, either ha have them do it or you do it, and text them the brochure. Now you have their contact information. So that's a point, right? That's an easy way to do it. Or if you have a brochure, a paper brochure, you could say, you know, would you like an Avon brochure? And the same thing, use a little drawing form to get their contact information. And um, one thing I do is I stand outside stores. I'm more straightforward. I'm not good at small talk. So I'll stand outside a store with like 10 brochures in my arms. And as people walk out of the store, I'll say, hey, would you like an Avon brochure? And I literally hand it to them like I expect them to take it. 
And they'll go, oh, Avon's still around? <laughs> you hear that all the time, right? But then I go, I mail my brochures. Would you like to get on my mailing list? And then I give them that drawing slip. The drawing slip gives them three options. Would you like to get a brochure in the mail? Or would you like to get a digital brochure by text or a digital brochure by email? And then there's one more question. Have you ever thought about selling Avon? Would you like more information about selling Avon? And so as they're filling it out, I might ask them, have you ever thought about selling Avon? Just to get that conversation started. Right. That's how I do it. But the key is just getting that contact information. The next one is prospecting for team members. That's the same thing. You're prospecting for team members. Um, it's the same as prospecting for customers. And you're going to probably be doing both. But I, I you also give you a point for every name. I have it listed separately just because I want you to be thinking about prospecting for, for team members because you want to grow your business. Right. This is your business. You're going to make some pretty good money on sales if you get your sales up. You know, the more sales you do, the more money you're going to make. But when you add leadership on top of that, that's where the take that's where the, the explosive income comes in. And it takes time to grow. But but over time, you can build a team when you get two, three, four hundred people on your team. That's when you start making real money from leadership. And that's true residual income because that's not you having to do anything for it except support your team, right? So that's the same thing. And then follow up with those potential customers and recruits two to three days after meeting them. So, you know, I, I, I texted, I met you in the grocery store. I gave you a brochure. Um, I texted you the digital brochure maybe. So now I'm going to text you just two to three days later. Hey, just checking in. I gave you that brochure. Is there any questions I could answer for you? It doesn't have to be um, high pressure or anything else, right? Just, just checking in. How can I help you? And then we're going to put them in your system and we're, we we're going to teach you about that too. But, um, then you're going to put them into your system where they get a brochure every campaign and you follow up every campaign. And that's done more in a group setting, so to speak rather than that one-on-one. -on -one. So this one is just a one-on-one -on -one follow up with that customer two to three days after you meet them. So that means if you met five people today, you've got five names, which is a good goal to aim for, you know, or at least three a day. Those are good goals to aim for, depending on how fast you want to grow. Then um, two to three days later, you're going to be texting those three to five people, right? And then you're going to put them into your system. So then they'll just get it with everybody else. Okay, so now we're going to say get a brochure to every customer. Now, I mail my brochures. I use Campaign Mailer. And even if they live next door to me, they still get a brochure in the mail. That's so I don't have to figure out who had an order, who didn't. Did I give them a brochure? Did I not? They just get one in the mail if, if, they're on, um, if, I, if I'm mailing it to them. Now, I also have a text list. So I have both, right? I decide mostly it's the little old ladies that don't have cell phones or they don't text. Or, you know, they're 80 years old and they want more service. They're going to get a book in the mail. But somebody who's younger, that's, you know, sometimes they're even eco-conscious, eco right? They don't want to waste paper. So then you get them on your text list and you text them every campaign, right? And so, hey, welcome to campaign three. Here's your text. Here's the link to my digital brochure. So you're going to get a brochure to every customer. I only gave you one point because if you're using the system, it only takes you two seconds, or maybe a minute at the most to put, because you're going to already have your names in there and you just update the date of the back of the brochure and send and pay and boom, your brochures are on the way, right? Or the text, you just schedule the text. And that text, I use Project Broadcast for texting and you can send it to the whole group. It doesn't go out like a group text. It goes out individually, but it takes you two seconds to send it. You just save it as a template and then you go in and update the campaign number and, and the dates, mm -hmm. right? And then send it. So it's really easy. Um, and then follow up texts or calls to every customer two to three days before your order's placed. So I place my order on Wednesday. So on Monday morning, they'll get a text from me. Hey, this is Lynn. Just a quick reminder, my order is going in on Wednesday. If there's anything you want, let me know by Tuesday evening. And um, I don't do that with my Avon book text list. I do that with my delivery customers. My Avon book text list, what I do is I text them every Wednesday. So the Wednesday of the first day of the campaign is welcome to campaign four, which is coming up next Wednesday, right? Welcome to campaign four. And then the middle of the campaign, you get a second text that says, Hey, just a reminder, campaign four is going to be ending soon. If there's anything you want, you know, be sure to check it out because you don't want to miss it. And so it's just kind of a follow-up. And I do it that way because you don't want to text them at the end of the campaign and then two days later text them again. So I just do it every week. And that second text actually brings me more orders than the first. It's like, I think what happens, they get the first one, they're in the doctor's office or 
they're busy, they're giving their kid a bath or whatever, and they go, oh, yeah, I'll look at that. And then by the time they get home or they get done with what they were doing, they've got 25 more texts, and um, they've completely forgotten about it. And then when I text them that second one a week later, now they're like, oh, I better check that. And it becomes more urgent because they're like, I don't want to miss it. Mm. You know? I just want to say on the follow-up is the key. Um, <clears throat> the uh, every, Everybody does it. You're not being a bug. You're, you're just being uh, giving good customer service. If you think about it, almost all retailers now, I know um, – I'm on their list. <clears throat> Every day I get I get emails reminding me of the sales that are happening at Costco and Walmart and Kohl's and in the shoe store and in the in the auto place and you know you you name it. Everybody's sending you reminder emails to say, hey, we have a service here and this is what's on sale right now. So the follow-up is key because all your customers, they probably have a wish list, they have the brochure, they have the digital brochure, and they want to order. So follow-up is definitely key here. And Richard's really spot on because because um, <clears throat> you are providing a service. You are taking care of your customer. And especially if you're delivering to them and you give them a text saying, hey, my order's going in on Wednesday. And I know some of you might be thinking, I don't want to be a bug. But you know what? You're not. Because how bad are you going to feel if you don't text them <laughs> and then they give you an order on Thursday? Now they have to wait for your next order, which is two weeks away, and then Depending on where you live, for me, it's a full week after that before I receive it. So now they have to wait three weeks. So I always feel really bad. I mean, I do everything I can to get an order for them. But you don't want to be placing multiple orders and paying shipping every time. And so you're just doing them a favor. Hey, if there's anything you want, my order's going in on Wednesday. Let me know by Tuesday evening or whatever your days are. And it's just to letting them know. They can either give you an order or they don't have to. That's up to them, but at least they knew. And then if they call you on Thursday with an order, you don't have to feel bad because they knew. You know, you told them that your order was going in on Wednesday, right? It's just providing good service. That's all it is. Okay, so then place your order at a1.com. You know, you um, absolutely don't have to place an order every campaign, but the top reps do. The people who are the most successful, they do. They're on a system and they work the schedule every two weeks and they place an order every campaign. And so you, you get a point for that. And then sort and deliver your customer orders and you do what orders you're delivering. I gave you a point. You know, this is your business. You give yourself however many points you need. You could give yourself a point an hour or a point for every half hour or whatever because you're if you're if it, if you have a big order and it's taking you two hours to sort it, you probably deserve more than one point, right? Just use your judgment. But again, be real and be fair with yourself because if you're not doing what it takes, you're not going to be successful no matter how many points you write on, right? <laughs> yeah, the money the money is going to come in whether you're lying or not. <laughs> yeah, and you're only it's only for yourself, so it's yeah. not like you're giving having to show it to anybody yeah. else. Okay, so then that those right there, that's the bulk of the main part of your business. That's the most important part of your business. But then, um, because you also, you need to be reaching out. You know, I'm, I didn't talk about it, but going back to that first one, prospecting for customers and team members, there's lots of ways to do that online too, you know. Start creating conversations on social media. Find things you're interested in. Are you a crocheter? Do you love dogs? Whatever it is. Are you, a, you know, are you into watching the stars, astrology, whatever it is, find groups that relate to those things and go in and start making friends and start meeting people. You're not talking about Avon, you're talking about crochet or astrology or dogs or whatever it is. But when the time is right, then you can maybe in a private message, you start to connect with somebody and take it to a private message and say, hey, you know, I sell Avon. Have you ever... Would you like to see a brochure? We have this really cool digital brochure that you can literally turn the pages on. Or, you know, can I send you a brochure in the mail or whatever. That's how you're going to get those points online for social media. Okay. Um, or just, you know, you can say things like interact with people. You can say happy birthday to, to people. And that by itself isn't going to get you a point, but that's going to start a conversation maybe. And if they respond, then you start a conversation. You keep, you know, or you comment on their picture, how much you love their picture, or oh, the daughter's so cute, or, you know, whatever. And you start a conversation, just like if you were in real life. So that's the, that's the online part of that. Okay. So now we have um, passive prospecting, putting brochures out door to door. Um, literally, I have a whole training in here. I can't, I can't go through all the trainings right now, but I have a training in online business, online beauty biz about how to go door to door. Richard and I developed a system where we leave the book on the doorstep um, for six campaigns in a row. 
and then we collect those customers and then we move to the very next neighborhood. So what will happen is if you have 100 brochures and you knock on the door and you introduce yourself and you say, hi, I'm Lynn with Avon, I'm out kind of canvassing the area, would you like to have a brochure? And they say yes and you get their contact information. Out of 100, you might get 20 or so orders, okay? If you leave the book on their doorstep and <clears throat> you don't talk to them or anything else, out of 100, you might get one or two. You might get zero. But what happens is if you do it again two weeks later, they're like, oh, that's, that's the same person again. And they're probably, you know, the first time they probably threw it away. The second time they might still throw it away. The third time they're like, oh, wow, maybe I'll look at it, you know? And so what happens is after six times, because people need to see something more than once, but after six times, you'll end up with those same probably 20 or so orders that you would have got when you knocked on the door. And so that's how we do it. And then we, we keep those, we put them into our system, anybody who calls or orders, and then we move to the next neighborhood. <coughs> You can also put books out at nail salons or hair salons or if you know somebody that owns a pizza place and they'll let you put it on their counter. I mean, wherever you can put books or give out books. Now, that's passive because you're not getting their contact information. It will still grow your business, but it's not as effective as getting contact information and following up. Sorry, I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay, then we got event, party, show, Facebook party, all of these things. You know, you can do a vendor event. You can get a table at a vendor event. You can have a party in your home. You can do a Facebook party. Um, any of those things, Those, you know, you give yourself credit for those too. Those are building your business. Um, and then we're, this is what I added. This is kind of new. Online prospecting. So schedule out your social media posts. Um, I use a program called SinceShare, and um, and I can schedule them out for the whole month, or I can schedule them out a week in advance, or whatever. You know, I always suggest, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit. You should time block your time. So rather than getting up in the morning and going, "What should I post today?" You'd be much better off if you spent 15 or 20 minutes and said, "Okay, what's my plan for this month? Where am I going for this month?" And schedule out your posts so they're automatic, automatically go out, or at least you know what you're going to post. Same thing when we talk about videos. You know, schedule a day where you like. I do mine on Tuesdays, so on Tuesdays I kind of block my whole afternoon and I create all of my videos for the next week. I create 14 videos because I do seven motivational videos. Uh, personal development videos and seven like TikTok videos. And so you're changing your clothes every time you do a video because you don't want to look like you wore the same outfit all the time. But but it's just easier to time block it. It's easier to do it in groups rather than every morning you get, what am I going to do a video about today? You end up wasting half your day and not really getting a lot done. So, okay. So um, schedule out your social media posts, figure out what you're going to post and, and then you know, schedule them out. And you can use SinShare. You can use Multibrain, which used to be Avon Social. It's the company that did Avon Social. There's other tools out there, but I use SinShare. I love it. Um, I love it for so many reasons. But anyway, um, uh, post in your VIP group. So you should have a Facebook VIP group for your potential customers and recruits and current customers. And that's a place for you to just love on them. It's a place where you can love on them. And you want to do a combination um, – let me see. I actually, all of this is spelled out. This is all the same thing that's in on, on this form and on the papers behind it. But let me, um, let me get down here. Uh, okay. So getting your prospects into your VIP group gives you a new level of intimacy where you can get to know them better and understand their challenges and spread the love. And then, but you want to post consistently like seven to 14 posts a week. So at least one a day or two a day, and then with a variety of content. Don't always make it about buying Avon, buying Avon, or selling Avon. You wanna do curiosity posts, lifestyle posts, entertainment, educational, business, interaction. Um, all of those things, kind of it, it kind of shows the whole you, right? I mean, they see different things and, they, and it makes it value added. So you're adding value to your VIP group. And then, um, do a Facebook Live, right? One point for that. Live videos get so much more engagement than any other type of post on Facebook because they're authentic, they're unfiltered and uncut, and people get to know the real you. You ever notice how you fall in love with an actor or an actress or even a newscaster that you watch regularly? It's because on video, you can see their mannerisms. You can see 
more of who they are than you can in just a picture. And you start to feel like you know them. And so what's really cool about you doing a live video or a TikTok video or a reel, any of those, is that the people who are drawn to you will follow you. The people who are not drawn to you won't. And you'll never know. You'll never know. They'll just quietly go away. And so you don't have to feel bad. Now, I post my videos everywhere on every single social media platform. I figure if I did it, if I created it, I'm going to put it everywhere. So it's on YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, um, Facebook, Instagram. It's everywhere. And I will tell you that I will get people that will say things sometimes like, who let their grandma out? Or with your face, you shouldn't be talking about beauty. I mean, people are mean sometimes. But I just, if it's really brutal or mean, delete it. Otherwise, just leave it there because you know what's going to happen? You're going to find some of your other people that are following you are going to defend you. So, and that, and that brings all the more engagement, right? If they're fighting about how ugly you are or not, that brings engagement, which actually helps you rank up higher in the engagement. And the more they see your posts, the, the more engagement you get, the more your business grows. So you have to kind of ha let it run off of you. You have to be strong. Don't take it personal. It's not personal. It's not. If, if you take it personal, you're just going to cry yourself to sleep every night, and that's not going to build your business. And so you just have to let it go. Just be you. You know, one funny story. I was in Hawaii, Avon, at an Avon trip <laughs> in Hawaii, and I do those. I do a little daily, um, less, let 30 seconds or less, daily motivational personal development videos. And um, two things about it. One is at the very end of the video, I say, you got this. I believe in you. And I had several people saying, would you say that to me on my phone? Because they loved it. I just got so much response from that. So I keep it now. Every time I do a motivational video, I put that in there. But then I had another lady come up to me, another rep. And she says, you are not going to believe this. My son, who's like seven years old, watches your videos. And he's like, mom, mom, the lady with the crazy hair is on. You got to go see her. And he loves them. And it's like, Wow. Yeah, I got crazy hair. Okay, I wish I didn't. But but you know what? They're remembering me. So you just got to let the people who are attracted to you come to you. And the ones who aren't, mostly will just go away. Occasionally, you'll get a mean person out there. And and if you look at the names of the people that are actually being mean, they're like bots. Or they're not even, they're maybe not even in the country or whatever. They're just like, they're not worth, they're not even worth it. So don't worry about it. Okay, so... That's the live. I have some blog posts here. You can step five step Facebook live formula here. Five ideas for live videos here. Okay. And you get a point for that and a point. So here's another one. Post a reel on Facebook or Instagram. You should do one a day if you can, or if you can't pick a number, two a week, three a week, four a week, whatever you can do and then commit to it because it's not one video is not going to do it for you. It's over. It's repetitive. It's being consistent. That's what's going to do it for you. So um, social me media platforms are showing your reels outside of your friends list. So if you post it, oh, also, you know what? Your um, business page is public, but Facebook, um, the algorithm only shows your business page to very few people, to be honest with you. Your personal page, you want that to be public. Do not lock it down. If you're growing an Avon business, you need that to be public. If you're posting a post that you don't want everybody to see, you can, for that specific post, can turn it to friends only. But keep it public so that more people will hopefully see your content. But when it comes to reels or, um, um, well, reels, I guess, mostly on Instagram and, and Facebook what and TikTok, they don't, they don't just show it to your friends. They'll show it to a random audience for the first I don't, 30 minutes or something. And if it gets engagement, then they'll spread it out more and more and more. So those reels are going to get people's eyes on it that you don't even know. That's where your prospects are going to come from. That's where people are going to find you because it's, you're not limited to the people you know that are friends on Facebook. So that's why reels are so important and TikTok videos. I, I limited, I put them all in one. So a reel, a TikTok video, they're kind of all the same thing. And they're all like 30 seconds or less. I would keep it 30 seconds or less, but you know what? 10 to 15 seconds is even better. The attention span is so short yeah. these days. And 10 seconds, you're going to get a lot more engagement. <clears throat> so, and here's a post to give you some ideas about what to create videos about. And then... Um, online prospecting post six to eight Facebook stories each day. You know, that's the ones that show up at the top of your Facebook. 
And they can be, you can post, I post my reels and my TikTok videos in my stories. And I also post it in my reels. I do both. And the stories are only good for 24 hours and they kind of rotate through. So you can have as many as you want, but six to eight is a good number. And people will see your reels. I mean, people will see your stories more than they'll see your posts because because the social media platforms are pushing those stories and because it's at the top of your newsfeed, on top of everybody's newsfeed. So your stories will be seen more. And here's what's really cool. You can see who's watching your stories. And so when you go in and you look at your stories and you can see who's looking at them, they could just be images, they could be videos, they could be all kinds of things. There's interactive, you can do a poll, this or that, or would you prefer long hair or short hair? And they have to answer it, you know what I'm saying? And, or um, you can tag people. You There's all different things you can do in stories. But you can see who, who interacted with it and whether they loved it or whether they just looked at it or whether they um, answered your question. And those become prospects because if you start to notice somebody's following you and they're showing up on your stories all the time, that's somebody you might want to reach out to. You might want to say, just send them a message and say, hey, I noticed I've been seeing you on my, real, on my stories. You know, what do you do for a living? Or I see you live in wherever. I used to live there or my cousin lives there. You know, I mean, you could start a conversation, right? And then see where it takes you. So that's, um, then here's a post I wrote about how to use stories to grow your business. And then online prospecting. So um, I kind of lump these together, but invite people to Avon's live shopping events, add them to your Avon address book and use the promotion tool. So all of those are really critical. If you go to your Avon and you go to featured live shopping, here is your link that you can share. And there's even um, a Facebook, a Twitter, or an email where you can share. If you click on those, it will it will open up that program and you can share it. This is your link. Um, this is the one that's live. This is going to be tomorrow morning, um, to right now. Whenever you're watching this video, it might be a different time. But you can share that link. And if you can bring people to your live shopping, Avon will do the selling for you. And they get, they get gifts. So if they place a $60 order, yes. they get free shipping, which you're going to pay for, but that's all right because it's a $60 order that you didn't have. <laughs> but they're going to get all these free products. And if they place a $100 order, they're going to get yeah. even more free products. So Avon's going to do the selling for you. They're going to, and it's kind of interactive. The people can chat in there. Um, it's amazing. So take advantage of these things because these things are going to help you grow your business. Yeah, they're, they're, <coughs> they're informative and they're fun. They're a lot of fun. Okay. As you get people's names, add them to your Avon address book. Let Avon market to them. Avon does a great job of marketing. And if they're in your Avon address book and Avon sends an email, if they click that link, they'll be in your Avon online store when they place an order. Okay. And then use the promotion tool. So you can create a promotion. And um, I typically like to do a promotion Every Wednesday, I do a new promotion for mm -hmm. one week. So each campaign, I do two separate promotions. But um, there's different ways to do it, right? I some people um, will will send an email or, or a message out to the to their customers and go, "I have these options. I have three different promotions I can offer you. Which one would you like?" And let them pick one. Or you can even um, put, make a post on Facebook and say, "Hey." Right now, I have the ability to give you this product for free if you place a $60 order. Or I, have the, or you don't maybe have to say that. You say, I have the ability to send you a coupon code to get this product for free with your order. If you're interested, send me a private message with your email address. And then you can add them to your contact. That's just a way to get more prospects, right? Then you add them to your address book and you add them to the promotion, the one that they, you promised them, and boom, they got it. And then if they place an order, they'll get that free gift. Okay. So those are different ways to do it. Just be, just get creative and do whatever works for you, at, but use that promote, that promotion tool. And so you'll get a point for that. Um, sponsor and appoint a new representative, one point for every new recruit. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be going, but right now, if you sign up, if you are a bronze ambassador or above and you sign up a new recruit and they place a hundred dollar first mm -hmm. order, in that first or second campaign, Avon's going to give you like five new team members. And that's really exciting. Avon's going to build your business for you. Now, I don't know how long this will be going on. So um, depending on when you watch this video, you will have to see if it's still available. But right now, 
this is like really exciting. So take advantage of it. And then I go into leadership. So most of you, if you're if you're in leadership and you and you've got a pretty good sized team, you already know all this. But um, you know, once you get them signed up, you need to be sure to help them get started. I have a post here about how I help new reps get started, so you can copy from that. And I also have a text trip training for new reps. So they get a little text for the first two weeks every day, just a little snippet, which takes them to one of my blog posts. Like it says, your orders, your customer says they ordered in your online store, but how do you find them? And then I send them to a blog post that has pictures and shows you how to find the order. You know, just little things like that to help them get started. And then everything that you do to help your team member ends up helping you too, because you want them to be successful. If they're not successful, it's not helping anybody. Right. When you bring people in to sell AY, you want them to be successful. And let me let me clarify this right now. If you're new and you're thinking, I don't want to do leadership because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't train a new person. Stop that right now because it's not true. All you need is a little bit more knowledge than the person you're signing up. So if you've signed up, then you know how to teach them to sign up because you already did it. If you've placed your first order, then you know how to help them place their first order because you've already done it. See, you don't have to know a lot. All you have to do is care and come from the heart and be there to support that person, recognize them, give them love, tell them how wonderful they're doing because they got a first order in, that kind of stuff. That's all it is. And then you can direct them to Online Beauty Biz or you can come to Online Beauty Biz or, you know, you can always, there, there's nothing wrong with not knowing an answer. You just say, oh, I'm not sure. Let me find out and I'll get back to you. Yeah, the beauty of teaching is that you learn. Yeah. It really is. You do. Yeah. <clears throat> you learn more when you're teaching than you mm. do without, right? Okay. And then, um, so then review leadership reports for opportunities, you know, recognition. Um, I just did recognition today for my team. But um, so you want to you want to do those kinds of things and you get a point for that because this is all part of building your business, right? Business training. So you need to know. You need to know what the products are you're selling. You need to know how to talk to people. You need to know, you know, without any training, you're not going to be able to build a business, right? So go through Avon U. There's a ton of training in there. There's also all kinds of training on online beauty biz. You know, you can go through that. And then, but again, these are things that are important for your business, but they're not income producing activities. So if you give yourself eight points a day for training, you're not building your business. You're fooling yourself. That's why I said you really want the ones at the top. You really want the top, the top ones on here down to about um, place your order on Avon.com. Obviously, the rest of these, posting on social media, doing a video, those are all really important too. But the business training, the personal development, that kind of stuff should be done after hours, like before you go to bed or early in the morning when you can't be talking to people, right? Because it's still important, but, but it's not going to make you money. It's not going to get you sales by itself. You have to take action to get sales. And then personal development. This is why I believe most people struggle in their Avon business. They just don't have the belief or the skills. They, they, you know, most people that do well are voracious readers. They are, they're stu students of personal development. People who are successful believe in themselves. They've expanded their, their mind to believe that they can make anything happen. That's what makes somebody successful. And Get really good at dreaming and acting on those things that's going to help you achieve them. You know, love your life as it is. Live your life as it is. And then expand your value to the world by becoming an ambassador of hope. Think about it. The more lives you touch in a positive way, the more value you bring to the world. You don't have to be Gandhi. You just have to share some love. And you can make somebody's day just by smiling at them in the grocery store. It's that simple, right? It's about expanding your value. So, um, so how do you increase your value? Well, here's some suggestions. I mean, here's some ideas and examples. These are big, big things, right? But like athletes that play professional sports, they sell tickets by entertaining crowds through great competitive games. Ticket sales create revenue for the team owners, the ballparks in the cities that attract the visitors. And so there's value that's created by the crowds that are attracted, that are willing to part with their money. That's what makes a professional sports player. So that's why they make the money they make right? Entertainers like Mariah Carey and Bruce Willis and, you know, Michael Jackson or, or Neil Diamond, right? They sell tickets to concerts and movies. They have box office appeal. And then they sell t-shirts and CDs. They fill stadiums and movie theaters. They attract revenue because people will come to pay to see them or listen to them. 
and they get paid millions because they attract millions. And just on one more thing like that, you know, you think that if you're brand new, you only make 20% with Avon. And some people are like, well, that's not enough. But, you know, Michael Jackson or Mariah Carey, they make less than a penny on every time their song is played. It's all about the volume. And even if you made 100% of your commission on your sales, if you only sell $10, that's only $10, right? Whereas if you sell $400 and you make 20%, what is that? That's for $80, $80. right? <clears throat> so that's that's what you need to understand is it's not in the single sale. It's not your goal if you want to make money is not to sell $100. Your goal should be keep growing as much as you can, get more and more and more sales. Yeah, the more you do, the more you get. That's where the money comes from, mm -hmm. right? Okay, Bill Gates is a billionaire because he figured out a way to get a PC into every home in the civilized world. He now sells his software, and if you own a PC, you have to buy his software, <laughs> Microsoft, right? And the software makes you like better. And it's the same thing with Apple, you know? But you the, you part with your money because you feel the value he brings to your life through the Microsoft, right? So these are examples of that people created for value for others. And the value is traded for money. So how does this apply to us? Well, we can increase value by learning and growing. As we grow, we become a more valuable contribution to society. And then we can share what we've learned with others. As our teams grow, we impact more people and we help people. We actually can provide an opportunity for people to be able to stay home with their kids or, or not have to work in a job they hate or not have to work two jobs. <clears throat> and so the more people that we touch, the more people that we build on our team, the more money we make because we're helping them and that comes back to us in the value that we create, right? So. If you're financially successful at what you do, it's most likely because you offer people something that they're willing to pay for because they benefit and, and what they receive is worth more than worth the money or more than the money. <clears throat> okay, so then the last one here is the game plan to build your business online. So um, sometimes it's hard to know exactly if you're looking to be a brand ambassador, if you're looking to only sell online, I added this for this reason. But if it's hard to know exactly what we should be doing online, I mean, you just you can go online and you can chat and you can talk to people and it doesn't build your business because you're not focused on building a business. You're just chatting or looking at cat videos or whatever you're doing, right? <laughs> so it's it's not about just posting on on social media. It's about engaging people and it's about building relationships, just as if you were in person. And so I have another program with a simple business tracker that will help you do this. It has scripts that you can use to start conversations and move those conversations forward towards finding customers and recruits. And so you can find that here. And this is um, this is the simple business tracker to build your business online. And you and we talk about the daily eight system. And there's a training on how to use the tracker. And then you can um, download that tracker. That tracker will give you scripts. It will help you to, you know, if you're going to send a message to somebody, it will help you to know what to say. If you're going to follow up, it helps you to know what to say. So that's going to help you there. And then here's another link to download this daily eight plan. So you guys, that's it. That's it. This plan, if you work it and if you're consistent with it and if you constantly work for your 40 points a week, um, you know, I mean, if you're not, if you don't want to, it's what you want out of your business is up to you, right? If you want to make money, then I strongly suggest you try to get eight points a day, 40 points a week. You can work more than five days a week. That's up to you, right? The more effort you put into it, the better you're going to do. But um, if you really only want to play with this and you're just doing it for fun and you just want to make a little bit of money, well, then set a goal for yourself. Maybe you want to do 20 points a week, four points a day. I do suggest you try to do something every day, even if you're just spending an hour a day, just do something to move your business forward every day so that it doesn't stagnate. Because what happens is if you stop and start and stop and start, you're only going to hurt yourself. Your business will not grow at all. It's it's just amazing how that will just destroy your business. So, um, you have yes, on the daily eight plan to show the show the chart. The, the there's really three things that that make your business. One is follow up. That's the key. Follow up is the key. But the, the the first one is is the uh, the fact that that you need to uh, be consistent in your business. And she just said that this is really the story of the tortoise and the hare. The hare was bouncing all over the place in the race, and the tortoise just plotted one step at a time consistently every day and crossed the finish line first. That's that's basically it. If you're jumping all around all the time, you're never going to be consistent, and your business will, will will falter for it. 
And the other big C to me is chunk, the word chunk. And that means get things in bite-sized pieces. None of us go from kindergarten to college. We all have to have a little bit of learning every year. And so we have 20 years of information on here. Go to getting started or go to the search on here. Do the Google search, like I said. Right here. Yeah, on, on, do the search right here for category. What Either getting, getting started or chunk it down. Pick the thing that you need to know today. You just started your business. What is the first thing I need to do? Find that topic, search it. Bring it up, go par paragraph by paragraph, and, and, and slowly go through it and learn it. And if you do one of these a day or one every other day or one a week or however fast you want to go. For training. For, for training, training. Just just chunk it down. Learn a little bit every day. And after a while, you're going to be amazed how smart you are. You so, already are, but you're going to be even smarter. <laughs> so this, this actual, this document and this blog post, they're the same. The, the information mm -hmm. below the video is the same as it is on this document. I give you links for all of them about how to, you, know, you can click links, how to automate your follow-ups, get a brochure to every customer, every campaign member, I told you that. So this is how you automate your follow-ups. This is where I give you training in that link about how to, how to, how to add them to Campaign Miller, how to do the text thing with Project Broadcast, and how to make sure that you're automating every, every day, every campaign, so that you are freeing up your time to do stuff like growing your business. And using automated systems helped me and Richard when my mom was, my, the last two years of my mom's life, she was in and out of the hospital. We were called on emergency. Oh gosh, the ambulance is picking her up again. And we didn't miss a day in our business because it was automated because it just took two minutes to schedule it. And I could do some of that at the hospital, right? We've gone on trips. We got, went on a two week cruise and my customers didn't even know we were gone because I used the Wi-Fi and the ship and we made it happen and it's all automated. So that's what does that. And then um, the other thing I want to add, Richard mentioned about being consistent. Everybody is like, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm in the top 10 for recruiting um, with Avon. And everybody's like, how are you doing it? How are you getting so many recruits? What I'm doing is I don't give up. I will text them and email them. I have a, I have a um, actual text and email sequence that goes on for three years. And I don't take them off until I either read that they were an obituary or, or um, they tell me to stop. I don't take them off. And you know what will happen is I'll follow up with someone for two and a half years and then they'll sign up. So I don't stop. I don't give up. I just keep going consistently. But I'm not manually having to do that because I have a system that I put them in. This is an automated system where they get emails and texts. And there is, there is a post about how to do that. It's a little more tech. It's a little more tech and you have to be more computer literate to do it because, because it's automating even more detail. But the key is, is just being consistent. Yeah. If you text somebody once and then you go, oh man, they don't want to, they don't want to hear from me. You're not going to build a business. That's part of that's personal development. You need to get over yourself and you need to forget about yourself and you're concentrating on them. How can you help them? Yep. Life happens to people. Yeah. But the main thing is, 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 you know where you're at on this journey. And whatever you need to know today uh, on your training, so, you know, pick, put, pick the uh, topic and, and pull it up and go paragraph by paragraph and, and, and go through it and, and actually learn it. Have it down, get a clear th a thought of how you're going to run your business, and then move on from there. And then the next thing you, next roadblock you hit, look it up and learn it. It's that simple. All right. Well, you guys, that's all we have. Yes. Um, this will be put on this blog post and um, you'll get an email about um, that this post was updated and good luck growing your business. And as always, reach out if you have any questions or if you're not sure how to do something, you know, check out Online Beauty Biz. There's all kinds of help there. But if you can't find an answer, go ahead and send me an email or a Facebook message or whatever. And I'll be happy to try to help you. Yes. Welcome. Have fun on your journey. All right. Have a great day. Take care. We'll see you online. Bye-bye.